What's going on, everybody? This is Mr. Mango Head here, coming at you with another video. This video is about Chroma Key and OBS Studio. I'm using version, what version is that right there? Uh, 17.0.0. And um, <clears throat> let me give you a brief little quick uh, overview, tutorial, whatever you want to call it, on Chroma Key. Um, uh, but before I do that, I just want to talk to you about my new hobby. Uh, just got me a nice little camera. This is a Canon EOS or EOS Rebel T6. Uh, got my nice little lens here. Got my 75 by 300 millimeter all coming in a combo joint. And um, so I'm going to be picking up this. You're going to see some, uh, some videos filmed with this. Um, also, I don't know if you can tell from... The sound of this video, but um, you know, got me a Yeti, and and, and I'm and I'm hoping I sound better than what I used to sound like, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy. Christmas been good to me. Uh, let me turn it so you can see the face of the Yeti. You probably can hear everything as I'm touching it, but uh, I'm feeling I'm liking my Yeti. Uh, we'll talk about that later. I digress. But yeah, got me a camera, so um, <clears throat> I'm going to be making, um, uh, you know, videos, a playlist that talks about photography, because that's what I'm trying to get into now. And, um, you know, we'll discuss that in the future. But <clears throat> let's get to it. Ooh-wee. My camera tipped over. I'm going to put it back in the bag. Oh, Lord, help me, please. Anyway. Um, so chroma key, uh, basically for those that don't know what chroma key is, uh, that's a fancy word for saying make the background disappear with the blue or green screen. That's all that is. Um, but they got to call it something. I don't know why they call it that, but that's what they call it. Um, <clears throat> and obviously you're going to need a blue or green screen, uh, behind you. I got a five by seven green screen um, that stands on its own and I want to tell you that there's going to be a link in the description you know what I'm going to tell you that there's going to be a link in the description so the first few people that watch this video there's not going to be a link in the description but at some point there will be a link in the description to this green screen and um, shoot to the Yeti and to the camera, but not yet. But it's not going to be there tomorrow or whatnot. Anyway, I digress. Let's get it. I'm going to pull OBS over here so you can see it. Um, uh, boom. So I'm going to pull it over here. And I'm going to take my, my beautiful face off for two seconds so you can see OBS. It does this because we're kind of like looking in the hallway of mirrors on both sides. And, and this is what's going to do. But you need to be able to see where I'm going. Okay. I'm in the sources. I'm in my scene here called YouTube. And I'm in the sources. All right. I'm not going to explain scenes and sources to you. Because this isn't an OBS tutorial. This is a chroma key tutorial. So. Um, face cam. Is where I'm going. So I'm going to right click on face cam. And hit filters. Okay. <clears throat> After I do that. I'm going to remove OBS from the background so you're not distracted while I'm doing what I'm doing. Because this right here is, uh, is what you need to be seeing. All right, so we're over here in the filters of Facecam, which is the name of my image source video capture source and I'm going to hit the plus sign now what's important about chroma key is lighting lighting matters because lighting is going to allow you to get the truest color contrast between me or the chair and the green screen if you notice right here it's hella bright because that's the light from the uh, the ceiling and I don't have the best lighting in here. So I'm going to do the best I can with what I have. 
and um, hopefully we're able to achieve the goal that we set out to do. So here, I'm gonna go with chroma key. And I'm gonna click okay. Now, this is what you get when you do nothing and it automatically hits green. So uh, we can actually mess with this and see if we can get some. What not, right now what I'm messing with is the similarity because there's different shades of green behind me. There's the bright green up top. There's the shadow behind me. So there's different shades of green. So it, it, it does a range of similarity that you can mess with to get the background to completely disappear. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I have the background and it's gone. Now you see how uh, the Punisher's face is starting to fizz a little bit. Okay. But over here, you can still see my background. All right. So you would want to mess with smoothness and similarity a little bit to see if you can get the proper balance. Now, the Punisher's face is starting to clear up. But right here, you can still see the edges of the screen. So let me go up on similarity. And then let me come down on smoothness. Up on similarity. Come down some more on smoothness. <clears throat> now, that's still there, okay? So let's see. Let's see what this looks like over here in OBS. I'm gonna uh, move this to the side, and I'm gonna bring OBS back, right? And I'm gonna put face cam back on. I had to turn it off. So this is what it looks like. Now, normally when I'm gaming, um, my my face, face cam, my face is like this small, okay? So when it's down here, this basic uh, way of doing it, which is just letting it be green, um, it's not too bad. And when I'm playing like League of Legends or anything, like for example, let me take off a display capture. You know, so this I'm flying through space. Boom. This is how I'm looking. Um, with without um, really tweaking it. So that's the basic version. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back out of here and bring this back up. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the reason why I'm doing this is because I also want to show you the uh, custom. So we're gonna go switch to magenta. We're gonna change, get our background back. We're gonna to switch to magenta, and we're gonna do custom. And what custom will allow you to do, and 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 don't think I forgot about this brightness here. I just didn't want to talk about it just yet until I showed you both ways: the basic green and the custom. What custom is gonna allow you to do? Let me bring these numbers down. I'm bringing about fifty. <clears throat> I actually just pulled it over. Um, So, custom. Custom here allows you to uh, select a specific color in in the color uh, spectrum here. You can use the HTML color code or uh, you can add custom colors. But what I like to do here is pick screen color. Okay, so when I click pick screen color, <clears throat> then you can highlight your pointer anywhere on the screen to select the color on the screen that that will best suit what you're trying to do. So for right here, I'm gonna pick right here. And it might take a couple of tries to find the right spot to um, pick. So I'm gonna click okay. And so this is how I'm looking 
with that selection. So you want to tweak the singularity a little bit. Uh, I would say, let me see what happens when I go down. We're starting to get some speckles. So let me go back up. And we don't want to see the speckles. All right. And what about you? Okay, so we're getting that. We want to come bring that down. Back down. Try to minimize the uh, the jumpy. The jumpy jumpy. Okay. Come up on the similarities. Put speckles out of there. All right. And like I said, normally when I'm gaming, I'm like this small. About, about this big. Okay. And um, that that actually looks fairly okay to me considering it's not going to be like this. Like this, you can really see that, you know, how awful that could potentially look depending on what you're doing. Um, <clears throat> but when I'm gaming, I'm like this. Um, and you can sit here and tweak to find that right setting and that right spot and the right lighting in order to minimize all of the jumpiness um, that you may get. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to sit here and find the perfect numbers. I'm just going to show you how to get there, how to do it. All right. Now, like I said, I haven't forgotten about this white area right here, this bright area right there. So let's. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this for the sake of what I'm doing to show you how we next address that area. So I'm going to hit the plus sign over here, and I'm going to hit crop. And if you notice, well, you can't notice because I'm on chroma key, but um, I'm going to hit the crop, okay, and well, let me hit the chroma key. This, you see all that green space? I got like arm's length over here, arm's length over here. I got all of that right there, right? So um, put the chroma key back on. And I'm going to start with the top and go down. And, you know, you can, this takes longer when you hit the, that button. But you can um, pick a number, see how far that number uh, works for you. Then add 50, do an increment of 50 to see where you are. Like right now I'm at like, so I'm going to try 175. All right. So that completely wiped out the top, right? So 175 wiped out the top. Let me try 150 for the left side. All right, so 150 for the left side. So the left side looked like it can handle 200. Okay, left side looked like it can handle 250. All right, so now I'm, I'm actually centered and I still got some room to stretch my arm to show excitement, to do whatever. That bright spot is gone and it kind of did a little close up where you can see uh, me a little larger and and I really don't need to do right and, and bottom you know uh, so I hit close on that so this is this is this is chroma key I got the box cropped I got this much space to work with and let me um let me get rid of the, the, the display boom now I'm in space Woo! <laughs> that's the noise you make when you fly through space Woo! <laughs> okay, so that that's all intents and purposes. That's chroma key. You need a blue screen. You need obviously you need a better webcam than what I got. You need better lighting than what I have. But um, this has been working for me. I'm happy. Maybe when I become balling, and um, or maybe if I even figure out how to use that new camera right there as a webcam, then um, who knows? But as for right now. This is this is what I got. I got a um, HP like C920 or some crap camera, uh, and it's and it, you know it's been sufficient for me. That's what I do my unboxing videos with, and a lot of my other videos, um, <clears throat> most of my videos for for that matter. Sometimes I use my phone when I can, but um, this is the phone that I primarily shoot all of my my videos with. My phone. This is the camera that I primarily shoot all my videos with. It's a Logitech. I, said, I think I said HP or something. But it's Logitech. 
But yeah, this is Chroma Key. And, um... There you go. You know, when I'm gaming, I'm about right here. When I play League of Legends, and I'm about this big. And... When you're playing League of Legends and the action is on the, you know, the screen. I'm pointing at my other screen over here. When the action is on the screen, then, um, <laughs> when the action is on the screen, then, oop, there it is. Um, you can, I wonder. Pull that up. Okay, went too far. There I am. Cool beans. Okay, there it is. Cool beans. But yeah, hey, if this video has been helpful for you. Um, please hit a like. Please leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything that uh, you'd like for me to do a video about, and we'll talk about it. Um, on that note. Yeah, on that note, that sounds about right. Yeah, on that note, this is Mr. Mango Head. And for those of you who are curious what this looked like it's in, it, in its entirety, there it is. <laughs> My Mr. Mango Head. This is Mr. Mango Head. <laughs> and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Peace.